I don't know what to do. Hey everyone, it's Amy, and as you all know, because obviously you guys don't live under rocks, um, it's Shark Week. Yay! This is the week, one week a year, where we glorify the animals we are absolutely terrified of. And I love it. I'm going to Wildwood, New Jersey next weekend. Since it is down the shore, I will be in the water. I will be in the sea. I will be in the Atlantic Ocean a lot. I like to swim. I like to tan. I like the beach. And I'm watching Shark Week because I'm a masochist. I'm absolutely terrified. Quickie fact about me, my biggest fear is diving into a wave and diving right into a shark's open mouth. Don't judge me. I like swimming in the ocean, but another fear of mine is, well, swimming and having a Jaws effect on me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> but I gotta tell you, as excited as I was for Shark Week this year, I'm really upset, I gotta say. Um, and I mean, the way Discovery opened up Shark Week was awesome. Megalodon, right? And it's come to my attention that this was a mockumentary. I didn't know that. Um, I thought this was a documentary. Obviously, the video, maybe for legal reasons, videos were supposed to be dramatized, so that's kind of like what I put there. And I knew that there was no way that they were going to get, as a photographer, first of all, there was no way that that picture that, of the whale with its intestines and it, it was too clear. I mean, the backdrop was beautiful. I knew that was photoshopped at least. But I still thought, to an extent, maybe this has some sort of validity to it. Maybe it's a real documentary. And it's come to my attention today after my little brother told me, and then I did my own research, and I read about it on Gawker, and um, I'll link you to the article down below. It, it was brought to my attention that this is a mockumentary, and I'm really upset. Um, and now that I read it, I'm like, wow, I'm an idiot. Yep. And as a journalist, I feel like a failure because this guy, I gotta give it to the, to the writer of the article, Rich, I'm not even gonna try to say your last name, that starts with a J, but um, Rich pointed out that, I'll, I'll read this word for word. Rich pointed out, this supposedly happened April 5th, 2013 off the coast of Cape Town, South Africa, where the biggest news the next day was a man using helium balloons to fly from the island prison where Nelson Mandela was kept to Cape Town. As a journalist, I feel like such a failure. I was duped and I need to not be duped anymore. It's embarrassing and I'm, and I'm humbling myself by admitting it to you guys. But yeah, I'm... Damn it, Discovery! Arr! Speaking of Discovery, um, recently, not too recently actually, I had made a musical Discovery, and I would like to guide you to this Discovery of the Musical Persuasion. It is a project that a friend of mine is in. Her name is Vicki McCrory. I hope I said your last name right. I always get it wrong. Um, it's called Wild Child. She teamed up with a member of That's Outrageous. It's an alternative band. Um, he was the bassist, Kyle, and he left the band. And they're into now more of the pop type alternative stuff. I liked it a lot, and I'll link you down to their first single, their debut single, Toxic, which I have not been able to get out of my head. My last video, I was like singing it because honestly, it's infectious and this is definitely a band to look out for. You call me toxic, but the poison's coming from you. You call me toxic, but the poison's coming from you. Their single, um, as of recording this video, was 99 cents. It's still 99 cents on iTunes. So I would definitely go out and get it, show your support, reach out to them. 
they're talking to people on Twitter and they're following back and it's a great way to just find out um, about them. I love doing this. I love promoing bands and especially when it's a band of a person that I know such as Vicky and I've come to have a special place in my heart for her. So I'm really proud of them both and I wish them the best really. Well that's it for today. If there's anything that you would like for me to discuss a little opinion piece or something I will gladly do it. Um, as always like the video, comment, share, subscribe most importantly to my channel, okay? And uh, I guess I'll see you next week. Bye!